what is up guys welcome to poopsy splice podcast i'm poopsy and tonight i'm very very honored to have a very special guest on my podcast it has been so long since i've done this so i do apologize it's kind of been like a hot minute (laughs) but uh, nonetheless I am back I am very excited sit back relax get a snack get a drink if you haven't already please share the stream please give a follow as well I would really appreciate it I am here with the amazing Sniper Mike. Welcome, Sniper Mike, to Poopsy Spice Podcast. I'm very honored to have you here as a guest. Hi, Poopsy. Thanks for having me. Hi, all. Sniper Mike, I have been following you for quite some time now. I have seen a bit of your streams, but tell us a little bit more about yourself as a streamer. (laughs) I'm doing it on a basic... uh, I'm doing it on this stage for a living, for Mm -hmm. income. So, But yeah, most of the guys know me as Sniper Mike. Most of the guys just call me Mike. Mike, I've been streaming for about two years now. Yeah. I've been playing Call of Duty Mobile since 2019, October. But yeah, my journey has come to an end one of these days on Call of Duty Mobile. So are you planning to, to expand on your streaming? What is your plans when it comes to streaming in general? Streaming, most of the guys knows me. I'm always up to a challenge and like to play different games. But I've decided from the 21st, I will be playing only Call of Duty Mobile Warzone. So I hope for new games to come out but mainly i'm a call of duty mobile so mainly you're just uh, into <laughs> fps kind of games yeah boy. just awesome. like that <laughs> tell me when did you actually start streaming sure <laughs> it's a while <laughs> back i started streaming something that i was good in and it's call of duty mobile yeah. and most of the guys saw my name and the, the kill feeds and all that stuff so mm-hmm. i thought let's start a tiktok thing and start streaming and show the guys some tips and tricks and how my gameplay is and some of the guys say they love watching me and they like to see me um, play and how my movement is and what my strategy is on the games so basically um, i'm using the, the the main account for watching the streams chat and using the new account just to play the game but if i must say what decided me to start streaming is to make people smile and get to know me and that's all that's important because there's so much in the world going on at the moment that it feels like a lot of people come to you as a person and say like why gaming why do you do gaming there's so much you can do in life except for gaming but i personally also feel that streaming and gaming and sharing what i love with people that also love the same things as i you know that that makes a difference because you end up having someone that has a bad day for instance and when you come online and you stream and your followers come on and they see oh sniper mic is on online they kind of feel like they can relate to you or they can just unload and just watch your stream and talk to you and relate to you in a personal level yes for sure um i mean to play games and stuff it's your way of meeting new friends in a <laughs> way of escaping from reality and stuff and all your problems and just focusing on a game and yeah. chatting with your guys and girls that's on your game and playing with you and i think it's awesome and i think uh, i met andrew the clerk a few years ago um, yeah. and still am together the strangest thing is we never met each other because i'm in gauteng he's in cape town so but we are planning as soon as things uh, goes the right way yeah. um, we will meet up on the end of the day all comes in good time you know speaking of meeting online friends i also had the wonderful opportunity to meet a very dear friend she's my best friend like i've met her last year for the first time and we've almost been friends for two years and we actually met here on tiktok um so i feel like it is so amazing when you meet friends that you can call friends and not only just friends but they become part of your family to say and you have that opportunity to meet them so i was very privileged in that part to meet my best friend marily and um i always feel like when someone tells me oh you know i met, i met my online friend it's just this amazing feeling that you know there's someone that can relate to you and someone you can share your passion with for sure and sometimes you can um speak to that person that you know it's a good friend and you can talk 
to him to anything, any problems you have. Yes. And I mean, it's like a brother bond that you guys are getting exactly. in a system. Because sometimes friends can be more family than you actually <laughs> your actual family. <laughs> sometimes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you see yourself in five years from now? <laughs> soon to be. <laughs> I hope to get a job soon. And yeah. Uh, look, I won't never stop streaming. Um, I will just stream less. Yeah. Because yeah. my main focus will be on the new work and start focusing on it. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. but then I'll make like a con. I will still play games and make content and make a stream schedule that's gonna suit me the best. Because if I'm gonna start working, it's early up mornings, late at home. So maybe things is gonna change. But I hopefully uh, I I'll never get rid of my followers and my subscribers. Um, I always make them happy and. They will always know I'm there for them. Yeah, so you just you you basically want to find a balance between responsibilities and your passion, which is what we do nowadays. Cause it's fun if you can stream on like an everyday basis, doing it as a career. Cause that's what I want. That's what I want to do. But in the life that we live in today, it's not that easy to not have a, a solid income and then of course just streaming. You know, so sometimes you have to balance everything. But if you can dream it you can do it i know it sounds corny but it really is the truth if you set your mind to yeah. something you can do it it might take you a year or two years or even five you know but if you just keep going and setting goals for yourself you will most definitely get to to the point where you want to be for sure yeah um, i think dreams doesn't come, come overnight and you must work hard for it it's not uh, it's not like you quit your job to go do streaming because it's a bad idea yeah um, unless you know you can support yourself and have no you know debt and stuff like that so mad respect to those who do that on another um question i have here for you what would you say is the pros and the cons of being a streamer in general for you headaches headache a lot because it's focusing on two screens at the same time you get a lot of uh, headaches and the most important thing that you need to do is try to stay positive whatever is going on in your life and sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes the guys can hear my stream. Listen, sniper mic is a little bit down. Yeah. And sometimes I'm happy, chappy. Not every person can be happy every day. You must have your ups and downs. Definitely. Um, but I still do the streams and sometimes I just stay quiet and the guys know, okay, right, Sniper Mike isn't himself today, something is going on. But I don't take it on the stream and I don't take it to yeah. my viewers. I keep it to myself. Not a lot of people know, um, know this when you are streaming. Streaming can tend to get very lonely. People tend to think, okay, Sniper Mike is going online and he's, he's so popular and he's got probably over a hundred friends. But we also feel lonely. You can be surrounded by a whole lot of people but still feel lonely because all of these people that that's in my chat i love my followers i love they're not just my followers they're my family they're the poopsie family but even though they're here you can still tend to feel lonely from time to time so you are 100 percent right when you say you do get your down days and you're just human everyone gets their days but it's most important to keep your head up face another day because if you start to give up you're never going to go anywhere. So the next question that I have for you is what is the most valuable lesson you would say you have learned from being a streamer? Sure. <laughs> never give up. Never if give up. Die. That, is, that is a good answer. <laughs> if ever there was a right one. Yeah. What advice would you give to those who would like to start streaming? Make good content. Play games that attract um, attention towards you and what your name stands for. Yeah. Obviously, the guys yeah. know me as my Sniper mic, um, I'm good with snipers. Yeah. Just don't do it for a week and give up and say, nah, it's not for me. Yeah, and don't just do it for the money. It sounds... Just keep going. You'll get there and you'll... Yeah. I feel like a lot of people, when you ask them 
why are they streaming they'll be like they do it for the money and that's the most wrong answer you can give because if you're in it for, exactly. for just the money you're never gonna build a community of friends and family and um, the whole reason okay. I'm doing it is to meet new people because I'm a person who loves to talk a lot <laughs> obviously so you know mm. I love me meeting new people making new friends and stuff and you know the gifts are just a bonus the subs are just a bonus of course we all want to grow fast you know let's be honest of course all of us wants to to grow a huge following overnight but that's just not how it works you you get your niche and depending on people who like what you do that is the followers you're gonna get so it takes time it's like riding a bike streaming is definitely like riding a bike um either you're gonna yeah. learn it or you're just not gonna be cut out for it so if you must be a person's person to stream a lot of people always ask me like what is the the tips that i would give someone if they want to start streaming i always tell them you're gonna have to talk to the people unfortunately mm -hmm. if you are someone who doesn't like to talk to people and hide you're gonna have to have a bit of extrovert in you to be able to talk to people of course and to make people i don't want to say to make people like you because they're either, either gonna like you or they're not gonna like you the thing is you have to grasp those people grab them in attract them with whatever it is you're doing if you're not going to talk to them they're going to move on they don't want to to sit and watch someone play games but don't hear them talk to them it's one of the realities out there <laughs> who would you say inspires you in the streaming community there's a few there's a few that inspire inspire me um number one it's stall i love stall stall Vila. everybody yes. loves stall it's just awesome it's just one of a kind <laughs> um <laughs> then there's a few like uh, narco he's mm -hmm. also a good call of duty mobile player there is black Peak gaming there is um buffalo gaming there's so much people that i can announce that i watch so would you say being a streamer has changed your life for the better so with all of the series questions out of the way i always tend to do this little thing that i like to call 20 questions this is where it gets hot because i'm gonna ask you 20 questions to get to know you a little bit more and then after that we're gonna have the chat ask you some questions so we're gonna have the viewers ask you a bit of questions after the 20 questions just in case there's something they personally want to know from you as a streamer the first question of the 20 questions is what what are your hobbies other than gaming? I love movies and cars. <laughs> <laughs> movies and cars. So what kind of movies do you like? Action, comedy, sometimes horror of the wife and series awesome and then the next question is do you collect anything not at the stage but i did <laughs> <laughs> i have a nice collection of pokemon dragon ball z Tazos, if you guys can remember that. oh yeah yeah i i grew up with that i have a, a nice collection of that and rc's cars and helicopters so yeah i have a few collectibles <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is what is your most prized possession my wife and my kids that's awesome how many kids do you have if i might I ask two. that's two awesome daughters. well two daughters you're gonna have your hands full with the guys eh? <laughs> no, i'm not i'm prepared <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is your greatest accomplishment of your life to having kids having kids it is truly a blessing eh? then the next question number six is what is one thing on your bucket list you feel you need to do before you one day pass on <laughs> sure um uh, i'll get back to you on that one <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then the next one is what is your favorite recent memory? All my memories that I always get is good. So, like <laughs> Andrew, they say <laughs> I must come visit him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing on your bucket list. So there, there we have it. Yeah. <laughs> there you yeah, have, there it. have it. <laughs> to meet Andrew the clerk in person. Yeah, it's, I, I would definitely recommend everyone to at least meet one of their online friends, close online friends. And I'm really grateful to have met mine. The next question, also about memories. What is your best childhood memory? For sure, my grandma. Living with my grandma. I was uh, raised by my grandma and grandpa. So for sure, my grandma. 
grandma. She's my hero. Then the next question is, what is your favorite holiday? When I say holiday, I mean like Christmas, Easter, Valentine's. <laughs> I can I can imagine why. <laughs> A lot of champagne. <laughs> yeah, get rid of all the stress. <laughs> Then the next question I have here, number 10, is who knows you the best? Andrew the Clark, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I surely hope your wife is not listening to this podcast right now because <laughs> I know of someone who's sleeping in the doghouse if she heard that. <laughs> Luckily, the dog is big enough, she can keep me warm. <laughs> <laughs> In this heat, I don't think you really need it. <laughs> then the next uh, question that I have is, what family members are you closest to? I was closest to my aunt that passed away. She just understands me and she was always there for me. Then the next question, what skill would you most like to learn? Difficult one, that. <laughs> I can do anything. No. <laughs> but it doesn't come to my mind that there's something that I still want to master. So the next question I have here for you, where is the coolest place you've traveled to? Like, the what is the most amazingest place you've traveled to? Uh, Margate. Margate. That's the only place was so <laughs> <laughs> well I, I haven't been there so you're very lucky <laughs> what does your average weekend look like chilling spend some time with the wife and the kids and watching series that's all family quality time then tell me about your longest running friendship with someone i'm guessing that's hendrew <laughs> for sure for sure <laughs> so how long have you been friends going for three years now that's a long time so you pretty much know everything about each other all the the good for and sure. the bad for sure then the next question what makes you what do you feel makes you unique as a person kind lovable and always friendly you know what I, it's, it's so funny when i ask you this because a few of the other streamers that i've asked you know i always tell them it's one of the hardest questions actually to ask someone is to ask them what they feel makes them unique because we as people tend to don't like much about ourselves i mean that's just human you know there's something about right. us um in person that we don't like about ourselves so asking yourself what you think makes you unique is actually a very tough but awesome question because i feel like everybody needs to discover something in themselves that makes them unique so, sure, so yeah. you're lovable and friendly friendly <laughs> and talkative and, and talkative and yeah. talkative Sometimes, <laughs> then the next question is who would you say is your hero my hero my yeah. wife your wife she's always there for me and for the kids and for during this situation we are going through she is rock solid so she's my rock star always supportive that's that's awesome yeah. then the next question we're, we're coming to the end of the 20 questions can you believe it <laughs> so number 19 is, is who is the smartest person you have ever met my stepdad of not my stepdad my uh, father-in-law that passed away he was my did he teach you a lot of stuff a lot and he was also there through infant and i've learned so much from him and even now we still learn i eh? we're, ne we're never too old to to learn Definitely. new things you know <laughs> then the last question is um what is the one thing that instantly makes your day better seeing my wife and kids after a hard day uh, after a hard day to see the, those three people in my life it just goes away and then i'm happy chapter I would now like to take the time to ask the viewers if there's anyone in the chat who would like to ask um, Sniper Mike some questions. You are more than welcome to ask them now. Okay, so we have a question here from Henry. He says, I just want to know when are you going to come visit? Bon accord, bon Soon. So we have a question here from AOD. He asks, what is your end goal as a streamer, like sub goals and etc.? End goal at as a streamer your yeah. likes um normally what i do is you get a few people that comes on your life that wants to play with you and you only play once and it 
creates like your friend list is getting full. So that's why we decided um, subscribe or become a clan member in my clan. Um, and then you're more than welcome to play with me. And then we have a question here from E.T. He asks, is your headache better now? <laughs> no, it is better. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like the English is going to give you a new headache. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question here oh, well it's not really a question it's muffin crusher who says thank you for the beautiful person you are mike and you are a big inspiration to me thanks muffin <laughs> <laughs> i heard d asks do you have a kazoom pipe <laughs> what the hell does he mean by that <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> i heard he asks are you called the tripod <laughs> the tripod <laughs> What's with these questions? But, but I I, I, I'm getting sus vibes. <laughs> oh, we have one more question and then we will wrap it up. We have a question here from I don't know how to pronounce that. But they ask Mike, will you even consider PC streams? And if so, what games will you play? Uh, if I can do it and I have uh, somebody that sponsor me a nice PC, I will be playing a lot of games for you guys. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna attract attention and the guys is gonna love to watch see me play so there you have it guys if you would like to see sniper mike play on pc and stream for you guys all sorts of different games on pc go over to him click on his name here in the box and go and give him a follow he's an amazing streamer i would like to take the time to thank you sniper mike for being here on the poopsies plays podcast it was a real honor to get to know you a little bit better i really hope that you will would flourish and grow as a streamer and that you would reach your goals and even more some in the future so thank you so much for being here and letting us all know a little bit more about yourself uh, thank you poopsie and i appreciate it and thank you for the podcast and having me here and thank you for the chat that was always here and supporting me and thank you so much for the gifties i appreciate it a lot and may you all have a blessed week and a good night rest and let God stay with you. Thank you so much, Mike. I will speak to you again. Thanks, Poopsie. See Bye. you all. Bye. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so, so much for tonight's first episode of Poopsie's Place podcast. I'm very, very proud. I'm very, very excited for all of the other guests that will be coming on to the podcast. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the follows, and of course, all of the gifts. It really does mean so much to me. Thank you for supporting Snow hyper mic as well so yeah i am very excited to see you guys again next wednesday for another guest on the poopsie splice podcast thank you so much for being here for all the love and support i really do appreciate you guys much love take care sleep tight and see you again tomorrow Mwah. bye <laughs>